you might have heard the saying, breakfast is the most important meal of the day. But for diabetics, it's often difficult to know which foods are good for you and which can cause harm. Diet plays a crucial role in your quest for blood sugar balance. Naturally, what you eat can have a huge effect on your glucose levels and your health in general. And those early morning staple foods might not actually be as good for your body as you think. In fact, some breakfast foods can increase the unwanted, painful, and life-threatening effects of diabetes. So what's the deal? Did your parents lie to you? Or should we blame food corporations marketing their breakfast cereals as healthy while they're usually packed with sugar? Many of the most classic breakfast foods may actually have damaging effects on your blood glucose, your insulin secretion, and even your liver. So how can you tell which breakfast foods are beneficial to your health? And what are the tricks for discovering which breakfast foods may wreck your blood sugar control? Stay tuned. Today, we're putting two of the most popular breakfast classics into a head-to-head -head showdown. Wheat bran cereal and oatmeal are about to face off. We're going to look at which of these two is better for diabetics and what effects they have on your glucose levels. But first, make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel to discover more diabetes fighting tips and tricks. Also, stick around because we've got two amazing free gifts coming your way. And now, let this breakfast battle commence. Today's showdown is oatmeal versus wheat bran cereal. Which is better for diabetics? Are you hungry in the morning? What's the first food you reach for? A recent survey found that two of the 10 most popular breakfast foods in America include that forever classic oatmeal and cereal. But lately, you may have heard that many famous cereals are high in carbohydrates and can be loaded with added sugars. So you might be considering a switch to a wheat bran variety of cereal. But is this style of cereal as healthy as it sounds? Let's find out what exactly is inside. Wheat Bran Cereal Wheat bran is made from the hard outer shell of the wheat plant. When it's processed, this product becomes a byproduct called bran. Wheat bran is rich in various nutrients, such as fiber, iron, and thiamine. How can these nutrients improve your blood sugar balance? We'll get to that shortly. But in general, wheat bran has a sweet, nutty flavor, which is why it's often used in baked goods like breads and muffins. Of course, wheat bran is also now used in many cereals. So let's break down the nutrition found within wheat bran and the cereals in which it can be found. The nutrition within wheat bran. A one ounce serving of wheat bran cereals can clock in around 60 calories. With just over one gram of fat, wheat bran can contain many essential vitamins and minerals. But as you might have already guessed, its most powerful nutrient may be its excellent amount of dietary fiber. A serving of wheat bran contains approximately 18 grams of carbohydrates with 12 grams of dietary fiber. That's an excellent carb to fiber ratio. However, it is important to note that there are two main types of dietary fiber, soluble and insoluble. Soluble fiber dissolves in water while insoluble fiber does not. And while soluble fiber helps to slow your digestion, insoluble fiber works to pass food more quickly through your digestive system. While oat bran is known for its soluble fiber content, wheat bran contains concentrated levels of insoluble fiber. This means that while its fiber may not directly slow the introduction of sugar into your bloodstream, it can aid your gut health and help to relieve constipation. Plus, as insoluble fiber is free from calories, it promotes weight loss by filling you up without adding on the pounds. Wheat bran is also an excellent source of plant-based protein. In fact, a one ounce serving supplies about four and a half grams. So while the insoluble fiber within wheat bran may not directly slow your digestion, its protein can work in this manner. Thus, wheat bran can still help your body slow the release of glucose into your bloodstream. 
but what other beneficial nutrients can be found within your wheat bran cereal? Well, a one ounce serving of wheat bran can contain 16% of the recommended daily intake for iron, 28% of the RDI for phosphorus, 31% of the RDI for selenium, 43% of the RDI for magnesium, and a whopping 160% of the RDI for manganese. Manganese is an antioxidant which can fight free radical damage and lessen inflammation. Plus, it has been shown to aid insulin secretion and blood sugar stabilization. Diets rich in magnesium have been shown to reduce the risk of developing type 2 diabetes. Iron also plays a crucial role for diabetes management, as it helps to protect insulin-producing pancreatic beta cells. Additionally, wheat bran is rich in a wide range of beneficial nutrients, including niacin, zinc, copper, thiamine, and potassium. Plus, wheat bran also contains modest quantities of vitamin B6 and riboflavin. A study by Frontiers in Genetics Journal reported that vitamin B6 can help prevent the development of diabetes. Riboflavin, aka vitamin B2, helps your body convert carbs into energy, and like vitamin B6, also helps to lower the risk of developing diabetes. But at this point, you may be wondering, are there downsides to wheat bran? Of course, wheat bran can supply upwards of 18 grams of carbohydrates per serving, but as previously mentioned, its high fiber content, coupled with its protein, can help you avoid a post-meal blood sugar spike. But wheat bran contains a nutrient called phytic acid. Phytic acid is found in many plant-based foods, but it is especially concentrated in wheat bran. This substance is often called an anti-nutrient. That doesn't sound good. But what does this mean? Well, according to the journal Molecular Nutrition, phytic acid may end up decreasing the absorption of beneficial nutrients like zinc, magnesium, and calcium. However, this shouldn't be too much of a worry if you maintain a generally healthy, balanced diet. Meanwhile, wheat bran also contains fructans, or a chain of fructose molecules joined together. This chain of carbohydrates is not able to be digested by your body, and it can ferment in your colon. Therefore, some people may find certain side effects from consuming wheat bran, such as gas, stomach pain, or diarrhea. And naturally, or rather unnaturally, some wheat bran cereals may include unhealthy portions of added sugar. Plus, it is important to understand that adding milk to your bowl of wheat bran cereal will significantly increase the calorie count and fat content. So make sure to read the nutrition label before grabbing a box of wheat bran cereal, or any cereal for that matter. And it's best to avoid drowning your cereal in milk. Well, now that we've discussed the pros and cons of wheat bran cereal, it's just about time to reveal the secrets behind oatmeal. But first, let's get you your two free gifts. Discover the key foods for positive nutrition in our new book, Superfoods for Diabetics. Also, find out the little known insights of some of the world's leading medical and nutritional professionals. By watching episode one of that diabetes documentary, get your hands on both of these gifts by clicking the link in the description box below. And now, back to the face off. Welcome to today's contender, oatmeal. Oatmeal is a common breakfast food that's been around for thousands of years. In fact, the oldest oats can be traced back to 2000 BC. Oatmeal comes from oats which have been dehusked, steamed, and flattened. Oatmeal can be found in several delicious varieties, including steel cut, rolled, and ground oats. But whichever way you eat your oatmeal, it can supply some impressive health benefits. So let's look into the nutrition of oatmeal. A typical one cup serving of cooked oatmeal can supply over 160 calories with 3.5 grams of fat and six grams of protein. It also contains approximately 32 grams of carbohydrates with just four grams of dietary fiber. Therefore, oatmeal on average does not have as good a carb to fiber ratio as most wheat bran cereals. 
It also supplies a much higher amount of calories and fat than many wheat bran cereals. A one cup serving of cooked oatmeal contains 5% of the recommended daily intake for potassium, 12% of the RDI for iron, 16% of the RDI for magnesium, and 18% of the RDI for phosphorus. Plus, cooked oatmeal can supply nearly 70% of the RDI for manganese. As previously mentioned, this vital nutrient can reduce inflammation, aid your body in insulin secretion, and help with blood sugar stabilization. Oats also supply other important nutrients, including zinc, folate, and vitamin B1 otherwise known as thiamine. Multiple studies show that thiamine is excellent for those suffering from diabetes, as it has the ability to reduce high blood pressure, lower blood sugar, and improve insulin levels. Thiamine has also been shown to lower the risk of heart disease. Overall, studies show that the nutrients within oatmeal can aid in diabetes management by supplying additional health benefits, including blood sugar level stabilization, improved gut health, weight management, and even colon cancer risk reduction. Plus, research also shows that oats and oatmeal have the power to lower levels of bad LDL cholesterol. That means that this breakfast staple can also aid heart health and may reduce the risk of cardiovascular disease. This benefit is mainly due to the dietary fiber within oats. But this brings us to a key difference between wheat bran and oatmeal. While wheat bran contains mostly insoluble fiber, Oatmeal is high in soluble fiber. Soluble fiber binds to LDL cholesterol in your small intestine, which helps to purge it from your body before it enters your bloodstream. However, despite all these amazing benefits, the way in which you eat your oatmeal may still bring undesirable consequences for your diabetes management. So you might wonder, are there downsides to oatmeal? As we've already mentioned, oatmeal tends to be fairly high in calories and fat. Plus, oatmeal's carb to fiber ratio is not quite as impressive as you'll find with wheat bran. But there are several types of oatmeal products on the market. So which version is right for you? Studies show that the best type of oatmeal for diabetics is the steel cut variety. Steel cut oats are sliced into small pieces rather than being flattened. While these oats take longer to cook, they are less processed than rolled oats or instant oats. Rolled oats have a higher glycemic index than steel cut oats, and they can raise your blood sugar levels higher and faster than the steel cut version. Yet research shows that rolled oats are still a healthier option than instant oatmeal. In fact, according to Harvard Health, oatmeal made of rolled oats has a glycemic index score of 55 while instant oats carry a score of 79. Of course, at the end of the day, whichever variety of oatmeal you choose, its effect on your body can be altered, depending on what you put on top of your oatmeal. Sugary syrups, like maple syrup and honey, contain high amounts of simple sugars. The same is true of dried fruit. Adding sugary treats to your oatmeal can end up negating the health benefits within your oatmeal and may lead to a blood sugar spike. So if you do crave a sweeter kick with your breakfast, try opting for fresh fruit instead of syrup or dried fruit. Okay, now that we've investigated each of these breakfast classics, it's time to see how they square up against each other. Which is better for diabetics? It's time for the main event, oatmeal versus wheat bran cereal. Let's start with their glycemic index scores. Wheat bran cereal GI scores can depend on which brand you choose, but on average, it has a glycemic index ranking of 55, which is the exact same GI score as oatmeal made from rolled oats. However, steel cut oats have a GI score of 42, while instant oats clock in at 66 on the glycemic index. So if you're simply concerned with which of these breakfast foods has the lowest glycemic index ranking, you'll want to reach for steel cut oatmeal. In the fiber category, both oatmeal and wheat bran cereal can give you some impressive benefits. While oatmeal supplies heart healthy, diabetes friendly, soluble fiber, wheat bran's insoluble fiber may not seem quite as beneficial. However, insoluble fiber still helps to relieve constipation 
it promotes bowel health, and it increases insulin sensitivity. And at the end of the day, wheat bran has a better carb to fiber ratio than oatmeal. So these cereals may be better for your post-meal glucose control than oatmeal. Therefore, wheat bran cereals get the win in the fiber category. Meanwhile, wheat bran cereal and oatmeal are very similar when it comes to the nutrients they supply. They both have similar levels of beneficial iron, magnesium, phosphorus, calcium, and potassium. But according to the Journal of Agricultural and Food Chemistry, wheat bran cereals contain stronger antioxidants than oatmeal. As you most likely know by now, antioxidants are very important for glucose control, as they can reduce the risk of developing diabetes. Antioxidants also reduce cancerous free radical damage and oxidative stress. Wheat bran cereals also contain more B vitamins than oatmeal. While oatmeal is higher in thiamine, wheat bran has more riboflavin, niacin, and vitamin B6. But which of these breakfast choices is better for your weight management, you ask? Well, wheat bran cereal may be a better option for this factor as well. Wheat bran has less calories and less fat than most oatmeal products. So, all in all, today's crown must be bestowed upon wheat bran cereal. But in saying this, you still need to be careful which brand you buy. Make sure to review the nutrition information and be wary of products that contain large amounts of added sugar or other unhealthy chemicals and preservatives. So, while both steel-cut oatmeal and unsweetened wheat bran cereal can bring diabetes-fighting power to your breakfast, today's winner is, in fact, wheat bran. Well, that about wraps up this Diabetes Smarts Showdown. Before you go, make sure to like our video and remember to subscribe to our channel. Also, don't forget to grab your free gifts by clicking the link in the description box below. Thanks for watching. From all of us here at Diabetes Smarts, we hope you're having a happy and healthy day.